hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about the programming for serial in serial out shift register so in the last class we have started this register register is nothing but a group of flip flops and mainly the purpose of register is to use it as a shift register okay there are four different types of shift registers serial in serial out serial in parallel out parallel in serial out parallel in parallel out okay we have started the first one serial in serial out shift register so serial in serial out shift register means data enters serially and leaves the register serially so this is the serial data that goes inside and this is the output side the data is moving here in which direction from left to right the data is moving in the right side direction so that's why this register is known as shift right right shift register or shift right register okay right shift register or shift right register the data is moving right side the data is moving right side then how to construct left shift register the same same the input will be giving from the right hand side and data will be collected from the left hand side the d flip flop should be reversed here okay data should be given here for the last flip flop and the output of the last flip flop is connected as the input for the previous flip flop and again the process will be repeated for n number of flip flops so that the data can be moved from right to left then it will be left shift register okay just changing the direction of the data is helping us in many digital circuits okay now for this serial out serial out serial in serial out shift register how to write a vhdl code in structural model if you are going for the structural model how many flip flops are there four flip flops are there suppose if you are going for the four bit shift register serial in serial out then four d flip flops are there each d flip flop program first we need to write okay already in the previous class i to previous classes i have explained uh, how to write a co uh, vhdl code for different types of flip flops okay again i am not uh, saying that d flip flop programming here uh, you can go back and verify that now i am using that d flip flop code and using here for our shift register purpose okay now how to write the structural code vhdl code for serial in serial out shift register serial in serial out shift register in structural model in structural model so i am explaining all the possible styles of codes because in examinations you may not expect the same it may be asked for in the structural model or it may be in data flow or it may be in behavioral model so i am explaining all the things now whatever may be the style of the code first we need to write two different lines one is first we need to take the library function and then we need to uh, invoke the uh, packages also so first one is library library i triple e library i triple e so i triple e is a library where all the packages are there so library i triple e we are taking a package u i triple e use i triple e dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all so in this package all the types of different logic elements are there we are taking all of them together now entity entity serial in serial out entity serial in serial out is port is port serial input data i am taking sin otherwise you can take s underscore in okay comma clock reset in std underscore logic std underscore logic q in out 
q is acting like in out because see here if you look at the first flip flop if you look at the first flip flop q is output q is output if you look at the second flip flop second flip flop this q is the input for the second flip flop this q is acting as input for the second flip flop so here it may be output and for the next stage onwards it will be acting as input okay that's why we are taking the q as in out signal in out std underscore logic std underscore logic then what is the output yes out yes out serial out is the main output signal so std underscore logic and entity and entity and why we are going for the structural in the beginning why not to the behavioral or data flow the main reason for taking the structural model first first is a single module has been utilized for n number of times suppose if it is a 4 bit shift register then a single d flip flop has been used for four times if it is a 5 bit shift register it will be used for five times so whenever the main purpose of taking a structural code is whenever a module has been utilized for n number of iterations then that module cannot no need to in uh, no need to instantiate any number of times so one time instantiation can be used for multiple times applications so that's why we are going for the uh, structural code style okay so now architecture architecture siso underscore structural of what is the name of entity siso okay sorry end entity name here here it is siso okay so now architecture serial in serial out shift register uh, structural of siso is is now we have to take the component what is the component d flip flop that d flip flop program should be written earlier in the within the same project otherwise it won't work it shows as a empty for the component so d flip flop this program already we have written in the previous uh, videos okay in component d flip flop is port of d clock if you have reset and clear also you can add otherwise simply reset in std underscore logic q out std underscore logic this q is different and our program q is different okay both may be q's but it will not affect the program okay because when it enters into the component this goes to that sub program end component name and component and component name otherwise end component now coming to begin begin so this d flip flop we need to call for how many times it is a four bit shift register so four times we need to call so that's why first call d1 d1 is a label d1 is nothing but a label d flip flop see whatever the name we have given here otherwise you can change here also capital d in vhdl there is no case sensitivity so you can use either capital or small it doesn't change so d1 is a label and d flip flop port map of port map of see port map of this data input clock reset and everything should be connected there so first input is initially we are giving data input nothing but serial in s in 
comma clock clock we should give for all the flip flops because this clock is common for all the flip flops okay it, it is nothing but a synchronous sorry synchronous it is nothing but synchronous device that's why all the flip flops must work parallelly okay clock reset and then output is nothing but what is the output q q is nothing but there we have to consider this q q q uh, here i forgot one thing how many bits are there four bits are there so that's why you have to consider vector this q should be a vector in out str underscore logic underscore vector of 3 down to 0 otherwise last one is not required so simply 2 down to 0 is sufficient 2 down to 0 okay so q2 q1 q0 are available now so as it is the first one we are taking it as q0 okay this is first one and coming to the second time d flip flop we are calling again d flip flop with port map of now what is the input for that flip flop go to that circuit diagram see here first case we are taking s in and output is now q naught now this q naught is acting as input for the second flip flop this is first one this is second one third and fourth q naught now coming it as input now it is q1 again here it is q2 q3 is not needed because q3 is nothing but serial out so that's why q3 we have not considered okay so now it is q naught clock reset here this order this order whatever i am giving this order should be this order these two must be equal and now q of 1 next d3 d flip flop port map of q of 2 clock reset and then sorry it is q of 1 q of 1 it is q of 2 now coming to the last flip flop d4 d flip flop port map of q2 clock reset and the last one is yes out that's it end end so uh, structural okay separate important note is separate d flip flop program is needed already i'll discuss in the earlier videos okay available in earlier videos okay hope you understand how to write the vhdl program in the structural style for the serial in serial out shift register okay in the next class i will tell how to write in behavioral model thank you